guys today we're gonna make a very simple meal I like it is a pork chop and we're gonna bake it with some uh, Tony Sachery and some ranch dressing and breadcrumbs it's very easy easy to do in an RV we're gonna pop it in the toaster oven 40 minutes later it's a delicious piece of meat so stay tuned and we'll see what we can do So here's what we're doing. One, I'm kind of improvising here. I didn't bring the GoPro, so I'm doing this all with my iPad. But I just want to show you what I have. I have one little um, toaster oven pan with foil and a little rack, a little uh, removable rack. We have a package of Hidden Valley Ranch. I use Tony Sassery. You use whatever you want. And this happens to be herb and garlic um, breadcrumbs, but you can use whatever kind of breadcrumbs you like, and they all come out really good. So the first thing we're going to do is take our package of Hidden Valley Ranch. And this is just regular salad dressing and seasoning mix. And I'm going to cover a little bit of the package. It's a regular standard 16 fluid ounce, or makes 16 fluid ounces. It's a 4.4 ounces. I'm just going to sprinkle that on the top of it. I'm not going to use all of it because I'm going to turn the meat over. And I'm sorry I can't show you all me doing this, but uh, when I'm done, I'll show you um, how this works. Then I'm going to take some Italian breadcrumbs. And we're just going to sprinkle that on the top. There's no really amount here. You just kind of figure out what kind you want. You want to coat this pretty well. And then you'll want to rub it in pretty well when you're done. I'm going to kind of move that around the meat. Then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm using this just tin foil to get this ready. Um, you can use a dish if you want. I just prefer cleanups a little bit easier if you use tin foil. Tin foil is a... Um, very uh, user friendly I would say and we're just going to coat that really well like so and again with some more breadcrumbs sprinkle that on a little bit and then what I do, I'm going to take the meat and actually put it on the pan, get the excess off. Um, it really won't cook up anyway. Um, and now, wash my hands. And I'll show you how this looks so far. You can tell I just, sorry, but I'm trying to do this with one hand. But very easy, simple cleanup there. Get that all cleaned up and thrown away. Now, when it comes to the Tonys, I only do one side. I don't think it's necessary to do too much of that. Um, remember, this is a lot of salt, so you don't want to use too much of it. Just a little for flavoring. I'm going to show you what that looks like when we're done. And again, sorry, I don't have my GoPro, so I can't see. It looks like the oven's ready. All you do is take this over here. We're going to open up the oven. And I, for a piece of meat that size, um, I think we're looking at about uh, 40 minutes at 375. So when that's done, we'll come back, take a look, and I'll show you how good that is. Like I said, pretty simple ingredients. It's just um, breadcrumbs, a package of Hidden Valley Ranch, and you coat the two on both sides. And then I just put a little Tony Sachery on the outside of, uh, of the top of it. 
bake it at 40 minutes. Now that baking time is going to depend on how big of a piece of meat that you're cooking. Um, as long as your internal temperature is the correct amount for pork, you should be fine. So in just a minute, we're going to plate this up and we're going to cut into it. And I'm going to show you how white and juicy that pork chop has become. All in the toaster oven. Alright, so let's, buy, let's cut into this thing and see how well it came out. Try and do it where you can see. See how good and white and juicy that meat is. It's very good, very easy. So, that is it. It's very good, very tasty. Mmm. The best oven baked pork chop, all done in a toaster oven. Try it. It's a great recipe. We'll see you soon.